in 29 palms. Ooh. Screw that. We're in 29 palms on what must be the ugliest, worst day we've ever seen out here because we know 29 Palms is usually an oasis in the desert. We're on Gold Crown Road, just a few hundred yards off of Highway 62, 29 Palms Highway, whatever they call it. It's so dusty from the wind, you can't see anything. Uh, visibility is probably maybe one mile. But I'm really excited today. You can tell, this is my excited face. I'm as giddy as a third grader in the cafeteria on pizza day. Just happy to be out of the house, been cooped up all week. Today we're going to Brooklyn Mine, what is, I think, the biggest mine that you can get into, biggest abandoned mine in Southern California. The thumbnail for this video says something like that probably. I don't know if it's true, I've been to a lot of abandoned mines. This is the biggest one that I've ever been into. We've never actually made it to the end. It's got a shaft that you, or an adit, get your mining terms right, an adit that you can walk into and we've never been to the end of it. The further in you go, shafts, shafts down, start getting into the middle of the walkway and it gets really dangerous really fast. So we're going on Gold Crown Road to Brooklyn Mine Road. We're gonna make the turn. We're gonna go up to Brooklyn Mine. We're gonna make four stops. We're gonna stop at the Flag Building. We're gonna stop at Rose of Peru Mine. We've got a cool story. Actually, it's not a cool story, it's kind of a crappy story but worth listening to. We're gonna go from there to Golden Standard Mine and then from there to Brooklyn Mine. Each time we stop, I'll show you a little video so you know what to expect. I am recording a GPS track that you'll be able to download at the link below in the information section. You will be able to download that GPS file for your GPS free, no sign up, no email, no bullshit, no nothing. I'm doing it for you. I don't know much of the history of these mines. I do know that Golden Standard Mine and Brooklyn Mine were both gold mines. They were active starting in the uh, 1890s. USGS says until the 1930s, but after being inside of them, you can see that people have been working them and doing stuff in there probably just in the last 20 or 30 years. They're not all torn up and covered in spray paint. The dickheads have a hard time getting out here. Don't be a dickhead. We're at our first stop, the flag building. And yes, I am chewing gum, in case you were wondering. If that bothers you, I don't care. A few things I didn't mention about the road here so far. It's still windy, as I was trying to say. The road here is definitely four wheel drive. It's not a difficult trail, any stock Jeep, 4x4 truck should be able to make it. There are some deep, sandy areas, so don't try this in two-wheel drive. More importantly, you need some clearance. The hills, the, the mountain area, the road right near the flag building where we're at is really rutted and really rocky, and you need some clearance to get through that area. We've pulled Subarus out of there. We've seen stuck trucks, uh, even stuck Jeeps that didn't know how to drive. Everybody always asks and posts comments, will my vehicle make it? If your vehicle is not four-wheel drive, you're not gonna make it. If your vehicle is four-wheel drive and you have to ask, then you may not make it because you probably don't know how to drive it well enough. Not a difficult trail, but there are some spots that you'll need to know the line to make it through. If someone posts a question saying, will my vehicle make it? The only response is gonna be, watch the fucking video, dumbass. We're at the next stop. Still way too windy and noisy to go outside. So I'm staying in the Jeep. We just made the turn up toward Brooklyn Mine and just maybe 500 yards past the turn, we've stopped at Rose of Peru Mine. It's on the right-hand side of the road as you're going up the wash. And this is where I wanted to tell you the story of 19-year-old Aaron Corwin of 29 Palms. Up that road, Right at the very top of that road, it's a really narrow shelf road. Yeah, I've driven up it, I did not like it. Right at the top, 
there's a mine shaft, 140 feet straight down. It's almost on the road. If you're not careful, you could drive into it. If you're not being careful, it's gonna be a bad day. And you guessed it, Erin Corwin, she wasn't being careful. And as you might've guessed, back in 2012, Erin Corwin was not being careful. And she found herself, as you might guess, pregnant. Her husband was very surprised that she was pregnant, but not as surprised as her boyfriend. So her boyfriend took her for a ride up that little road Stopped right at the top where that mine shaft, 140 feet straight down is. So close to the road, you can just open up your door and literally step right off into it. And her boyfriend gave her the express ride to the bottom of Rosa Peru Mine. And don't get upset because the fall didn't kill her. No, the boyfriend had took care of that before he came up here. Sheriff's department searched for months. They searched every mine in Joshua Tree and they found her. It's actually a pretty messed up story. We'll go into the next mine. We're at stop number three now. Gold Standard Mine is right up the hill behind me. To get there, you gotta climb up kind of a steep, loose, rocky hill. The mine itself is pretty big. It's very dangerous. Do not go in there. I'm gonna go in there and show you what it looks like. Right at the entrance now of Brooklyn Mine. It's the entrance right here. I'm gonna walk in there in just a second. Right before you get to the entrance, right there is a shaft that goes straight down. The second story of the day is the story that somebody left on one of my videos about this place, because we've been up here a dozen times. The story goes, a family, a couple of guys were coming up here with their dog, and the dog was not on a leash, and the dog went straight down that hole. They had to drive home without the dog, and that's gotta be the worst drive home that you can imagine. Put your dog on a leash. We're done here, about 19 miles from Highway 62 and 29 Palms to right here where I am. It's not an easy drive, it's rough, don't come alone. Download the GPX file from notarubicon.com for free. The link directly to that page will be down below. If you have questions about this whole route, or if you know any information about the mines and what they mined here, leave a comment below, let us know. Thumbs up, means you enjoyed this video. Thumbs down means the earth is flat. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you on the trail.